Welcome back to the channel. Today we are cutting some more grass with the Toro zero turn mower. I just have to fill up some gas and I might try to clean it off a bit. It's uh, really dirty. So we might do that. Let's uh, fill it with gas. You know what I noticed? It is full of gas. You see that? Well, I misjudged that. Uh, I went and got some some gas this morning and I guess I don't need it. So good thing is we're just gonna start cutting grass. I wanted to ask you guys, please leave in the comments what your thoughts are on hearing protection. This might sound kind of controversial, but if I'm wearing these for an extended period of time or any hearing protection, I find that sometimes it might be more detrimental to wear them. I, I don't know. It just seems when I, I take them off after a while, uh, I still get like a ringing in my ears and stuff like that. So I don't know if it's just because it's, I know it's safer to wear them, but I just find for prolonged use, uh, maybe these aren't the best. So please leave in the comments what you guys use for hearing protection. Sometimes I double them up as well. I put the little uh, foamies inside and then these on top. So uh, I don't know. Let me know. Let me know in the comments. So just as I was finishing up uh, mowing that section of the property, I noticed something when I came back here to uh, fill up the fuel. So let's take a look. My tank is loose. So let's uh, go underneath and see what's going on. I think I'm gonna take off this uh, shroud. There's a couple of Torx bolts. One, two, three. So let's just take that off and see what we see. I have no idea why they would use torque bolts on these. They're the only, like, six of them that are on the entire zero turn. So if you get them, just switch them out for regular star size or like Phillips or Robertson or something. All right, so there is the fuel cell. And it just looks like there's a T. So I don't know what's going on with that. So I don't know if you can see that, there's a metal spring clip in here. And that's all that holds the tank on. And it's missing from here. So I'm just gonna jab something in there. I 
That's interesting. So uh, they put uh, Torx bolts to hold the cover on, but some kind of just like spring clip to hold the entire fuel system in place. I wonder if I could cut this and use that. Let's try that. I don't know what this is for. It's definitely for a car that's in our car drawer, uh, but it's gonna get repurposed. So let's see if we can cut uh, this off. You know what, come with me. We'll use the bandsaw. And just if you're wondering, we just have a foot pedal. Oh, there's a light. Does the light not work? Is there a switch for the light? Does anyone know that? On the Milwaukee Porta Band? Because it says there's an LED, but I haven't seen it come on in a while. There's a switch in the back. So there. All right, so let's go see if we can pinch this in uh, to hold the fuel system in. Grab a couple wrenches. In case you have to bend it. I will be giving this a wash, but not today. Okay, hey, hopefully you can see that. I'm just going to push this in. I don't know how long this is going to hold for. Probably not long, actually. All right. Probably gonna go loose, but yeah. Kind of has to have a a dip dimple in the middle. Let's see if I can bend one in there. All right, let's see if that holds. I do have the shop manuals. I'll probably order some of those uh, extra clips. But in the meantime, I think that'll be good. I'm not worried about it. Uh, the weight of the fuel is not gonna go anywhere. Simple, I like it. Look how dirty that is, woo. I don't think that's supposed to be like that either. Never noticed that. Wonder if that is affecting my oh, that is dirty. I'm gonna just button this up the way it is and I'll have to clean it later because I have to get back to mowing. So we're just gonna put the side cover on.
Not doing these uh, right tight yet. Now we'll see how that goes. I'm just gonna put some fuel in it. And for my American friends, this is the best kind of gas can you can get. Just a fill nozzle with an air breather at the back. Makes things filling up so much easier. No mess. And for people who don't know, you can actually reverse this. and transport it with this inside, but then it, this gets on uh, gas on it, and I don't like to do that, because I'm just uh, from the gas station to here, so. Like that. And there you go, simple. So that's a temporary fix. I'll order new clips to do that properly, or I'll just leave it. And uh, we're gonna get back to cutting grass.
that's how I do the big section. I'm just going to do this section in here. I got to move those dead branches. These two trees are coming down eventually. Eventually. Uh, so I don't know what I'm going to do with those or when, but uh, that's going to happen soon. So I'm just going to set you up on here and uh, we'll time lapse it. All right, so there you go. I don't know how long the battery is going to last, but uh, we'll go until it dies. So if you like this content, please like and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. So what did you do on your land today? Because today I fixed the fuel cell on my zero turn mower and I cut uh, four acres of grass. See you in the next one. Let the feeling of realization in that